العاصمة الاقتصادية Huge displays, massive technology, exclusive interviews, all on Alasima. العاصمة الاقتصادية. The Dubai Air Show 2014, a truly global event. Here we have an Austrian company, Frequentis, and I have the area sales manager, Mr. Paul Mayo, joining us. Paul, tell us about Frequentis. Well, Frequentis is an uh, uh, international company. Uh, we uh, specialize in communication and information solutions for the air traffic control and defense market. And uh, we provide uh, communication systems, uh, such as our voice switching equipment, and information systems such as our uh, tower automation systems. And this is a tower automation system here, yes? Can you explain to us a little bit about this technology we're seeing here? Uh, the, uh, the system is, uh, integrates uh, all the various sensors at an airport and provides uh, the air traffic controller with a uh, harmonized uh, human interface, uh, complete in one picture, rather than multiple devices throughout the entire air traffic control tower. So essentially you've shrunk multiple screens into one display unit for the air traffic controller. Yes, correct. Yes. Um, this exhibition and this market, how important is it to Frequentis? Well, the UAE is a very important market to our company. Yeah. Uh, we've, we have systems in uh, Abu Dhabi Airport uh, right now, yeah. and we hope to have additional systems uh, uh, when in Dubai uh, for the Expo 2020. So here we have Frequentis, another company that's making technological innovations and helping all of us move quicker and safer through our airports. We're here with Mr. Carl Ziegler, uh, overseeing the Swiss Pavilion. Tell us about your presence here at the airport show. We love to come here again every year. The show improved in quality. We've got excellent contact. And every year we try to bring here the best of Swiss technology in the airport supplier industry. We've got very well established technologies, but we've got also the latest in development to save energy, to do passenger monitoring, revolutionary stuff that makes it worse to at least visit the Swiss pavilion and see what we can offer. Yeah, the stand here is very impressive, and with the massive construction going on in both Abu Dhabi and Dubai, how important is this market to Swiss companies? It's a huge market. Airport is one thing, but we've got many companies that not only supply for the airport industry, but also let's where we're sitting here with Europoles. They've got these poles that you can r use on streets uh, for lightning, for uh, traffic signals, etc. Uh, that you can apply in many other technologies. And uh, this show opens doors uh, to various markets, not only to the airport in industry. And as a man who, who is sort of in touch with the Swiss companies, exhibitions in general, how important are they to, co to companies from your country? A very special question. You know, exhibition is very expensive. And uh, if it is expensive, you should consider uh, very well which exhibition to visit or even if you should visit the exhibitions. I believe that if you have to show something, you need to show it in competition with your neighbors and to make them see that your technology is better than the others. So the only way to do this is on exhibitions. That's why we're here. And uh, you certainly are making a present here, the Swiss making a real splash here at the Dubai Airport Show 2014.
Dubai Airport Show 2014, all about the technology. We're here with Mr. Imran Saeed of Smith Detection to talk about their latest technology. Imran, thank you for joining us. Tell us about this latest thing you're showing. Smith Detection is always known for bringing the latest, the best, the advanced technology to, to the world. And here we are at the Dubai Airport Show. We are displaying one of our latest products, which is the handheld rat seeker, which is capable of detecting and identifying the radio isotopes. This is the next generation product which is launched uh, probably a year back, approved by international authorities from US, DNDO, from UK, and here we are in Dubai. I'm proud to say that the authorities from Dubai, like the Dubai Customs, are using this product very well. Okay, obviously our viewers um, probably know, but I don't. What would we, why are we looking for radio isotopes? What would that tell us that we're finding? Uh, as the technology and companies like us are getting smarter, we know the other part of the world, which is the non-good people or the bad people, are also getting <laughs> yeah. smart. So we are we are way ahead of the uh, the natural explosive or the common explosive like the C C4 and the RDX, yeah. and we are going towards the dirty bombs, Absolutely. which are nothing but yeah. the radio isotope yeah. bombs. And that that is where it comes that we need something which can detect not only your regular explosive but something which is radio isotope and that is where this handy piece of equipment comes into picture and you detect the smarter terrorist <laughs> <laughs> so that's it smith detection keeping us safer as we travel we're here with honeywell as you can see celebrating 100 years in aviation this is ragu ragu tell us about honeywell and your products honeywell is an american based corporation where we've been in this industry for more than 100 years this year we are celebrating our 100th year in the aviation industry, probably basically providing all the innovations that go into aircrafts and as well as the ground technologies in the airports. What is new in ground technology this year that you're bringing to the market? What's new and exciting and innovative? The most new and exciting offering from Honeywell at this point of time is the Smart Path ground-based augmentation system. It's the next generation of instrument landing systems that can really enable airlines, airports really derive capacity and kind of gain a lot of benefits that which don't provide, which are not regularly provided by the traditional instrument landing systems. And I can see from your stand and your signs, you are guys are in a lot of airports globally. How important are conventions like this to Honeywell as a company? Yeah, these are absolutely great place for us to really showcase our capabilities, our technologies, and also it kind of helps us to reinforce our relationship with our existing clients and also build new relationships with new potential clients. This uh, kind of shows help us uh, in kind of forging more and more with our potential customers. And how important is the UAE to Honeywell? It's, it's core to our business. It's really at the centerpiece in terms of our strategy to kind of drive more and more business in this part of the world because you see a lot of expansion programs here in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, and other places. So this, this definitely is, I would say, at this point of time, the mecca of airports across the globe. That's it, Honeywell, one of the major corporations here in Dubai. We're here with Mr. Ari Boss of Evans NKI, another company helping us get through the airport faster. Tell us about this system. This system is built to make your entry in the airport as quick as you can. So we plan and we focus to run your check-in and your baggage check-in within one minute. All secure and all easy for every traveler. So this is self-checking for yourself and your bag. And your bag. Okay, we're going to show you how simple this is. Ari is going to show me how to check in without the need for check-in staff. So there's my ID. This is your ID. Yeah. And first you choose for check-in. So you put your ID on. At first I choose if I would passport or my reservation code. Oh. So there's many ways to do it, but this is an easy one. So I put your ID on the scanner. It reads okay. your ID code on the back side, which is a standardized yeah. code. And there you are. Ah, oh, that's me, ID. yes. So you're already now I'm, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. So this is mandatory information, yes. of course. Safety all. And here you go. Link There's my out. seat. Uh, you can change your seat if you like, but oh, I think fantastic. you're comfortable with that one. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to Barcelona, so yeah. who cares? <laughs> but Barcelona in seat four, very happy, yes. Yeah, it yes. couldn't be better. Yes. Right? Could be? So now it's printing your boarding pass. Boarding passes. And this is okay. what you now have. And this code, oh, wow. this shows your name, of course, but this code is linked yeah. to your ID. Okay. So this code has the same qualification to check your bags in. And there you go for the next round, check your bags. And this code is now being scanned here. So it checks the code. 
and it identifies you again once more. Yes. That now for there the labeling. I am again. Yes. So your, your suitcase is on the belt. It is 50 Been kilograms. Weighed. There you go. Right. You can add another bag if you like, but we just yeah. run through it quickly. Yes. And out comes your bag tag. Wow. The nice thing of this bag tag is, Malcolm, that normally you need people with long nails to, to yeah, peel this yeah, off. Nobody yeah. can do it, right? Mm. This is funny stuff because this sticks to nothing. Very simple, yeah. but it sticks very well. Ah, that's to impressive. Itself. No, I like that. Okay. That I like, yes. So what I do is I put it on, the, on my on my bag. bag yeah. Right. <laughs> we have. I'll do it a bit quickly now. Yeah. You put it on the belt. There's a big scanner bridge that scans yeah. everything, and you're done. That right. is absolutely incredible. Brilliant technology. So now this belt starts moving. Your suitcase starts moving. The automatic security door closes up because yeah. they want they want you to 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 tamper with it, right? And there you go. So now you have checked it in. The system yeah. guides you through the process, as you can see. Very, very, yep. And very, helps very. you out quickly. So now this is done. It moves away. Moves my baggage. And the last thing you need, of course, is your receipt. proof, <laughs> yes. your receipt. Right? So I can get my bag at the other end. Uh, and you yes. must be able to prove that. Yes. So now it's you have your boarding, boarding pass, pass. You have the bag moving out. You have yeah. the bag, t bag tag on it. And here comes out your receipt. Takes a well, second more. No, no, absolutely. Well, and here's your receipt. Fantastic. Well, I'll take both of those. Um, I'll say goodbye. And I'm off to Barcelona. Thank you. <laughs>
four regional airports to buy from international companies and we invited hosted buyers from around the region to come into come into the show and, and meet companies and, and you know look at products and technologies what's happened over the years is that the program has become so strong we've given it an identity it's called airport connect we've brought in about 120 buyers this year from around the region general managers of airports director generals of civil aviation who come into the show very senior officials right down to the engineers who come into the show and have meetings, back-to-back -back meetings with exhibitors. They choose the exhibitors they want to meet. So whether it's airfield lighting or whether it's air traffic control systems, whether it's security solutions, they choose the companies they want to meet, they talk about deals, they talk about their requirements. It's, 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 the, it's the purest form of B2B networking at an exhibition. We've uh, been walking around with our camera crew, taking in loads of stands and exhibits, but you're the man that puts this together. How much work does it take to put something like this together? Well, I have a wonderful team. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just I, I guide them a bit, but um, I have a wonderful team. And, and you know, Reed, because of its expertise globally, Reed has the processes and the the you know the the systems in place to make something like this happen. Our, our job is not to please exhibitors, please visitors, please authorities. We're working across all fronts. Yes. And and the, you know, we, the pat on the back that we get at the end of the show, it's, it's totally worth it. And I assume that the work for 2015 starts the day this one finishes. It's already started. <laughs> it's incredible. already started. We're, we're, all, we're already talking to people about you know our future plans. We're excited about and 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 and, and the most wonderful thing is they share our excitement. So we, we've got we've got a lot more in store. I mean you know what's happening with Expo 2020. What's happening with with you know the way the economy is changing in the region. And we have a, we have some very exciting initiatives planned, and the industry shares that excitement with us. I mean, as, you know, as a broadcaster here, we can sense the excitement here. You've done a fantastic job, and thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much for having me on the program.